What's up, everybody? It's B Boy Spaz here. Uh, I'm a little sick, so bear with my voice. But I'm gonna start doing some Ableton Live tutorials, and I figured I would start out by just kind of doing over some sampling techniques that you can use in Ableton. Um, I plan on actually making some videos that talk about, you know, the layout of Ableton and whatnot. But pretty much gonna take a song that I've already done and just try and recreate how I chopped up the sample and whatnot. Um, the song's actually by my group Hypothermic Stroke. Uh, me and my boy Shoop, we make tracks and whatnot. And the song's called Bringing You Home. So let me go ahead and open up live. Now when you first start out, you know, first you gotta find a track that you wanna sample. Um, the biggest things to think about while you're sampling actually are like the phrases of the song and the different sections. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that people sample like Kanye and whatnot. The way they take certain sections and chop them up. So the biggest thing is just listen to what other people do and then get ideas from that. So, actually let me open up iTunes real quick too. Let me play you a sample of the song that I sampled for bringing you home. So we got that nice little song there. And now, let me play you the sections of that song that I took. Um, I don't even think I used every section that I took from the sample, but basically I named them in different parts as you see here. So here's everything I chopped in the order that I took them out of the song. Second one. Third one. I think this one I never used. But when you're when you're grabbing samples, take as much as you think you might use. Anything that sounds nice, just chop it out real quick and just be like, yeah, I think I'm gonna take this, do something with it. So those are the sections I used. So here in Ableton, this is that same folder I was just in, all the files. So I'm just gonna come down here and find those in Ableton. It's a quick and easy way to just take this stuff and drag it in there. And so I actually mainly use the arrangement view when I'm sampling tracks. Um, gives you your normal linear view like in any other program like Reason and whatnot. The other view is more for live performance, but we'll talk about that later. So, got my audio track here. And I'm just going to pull the sample in there. And as we see... Kind of hit something. It's like halftime though. So I double click on the sample. Right here I can half or double time if I want to. And these are your warp markers. And the best thing about Ableton is you can actually just double click any of these beats and just move them where you need to go. So as we see here, this is the first beat. You can see it on the waveform. I'm actually going to pull this up to the beat so it's more on it. Right here so I have a little bit of a lift at the end and I don't want this to flip back so as long as I got my first sample in tempo. And I think in the song what I actually did, which I like to do a lot, is actually take a little piece and like Chop it up some. So actually, I didn't use this first. The sample I used first was, I think, the second one. Yeah. 
So same thing with this one. Beat one is way off. It's out of tempo. Double time it. So we got that in tempo now too. Take this one too. Same deal. Double time. Alright, now let's try and recreate how I did it on the track. And I'll play a sample for you of the track at the end of this too. So we start off. Got that nice vocal sample. A lot of times I just like to copy and paste parts. So this is how you can chop this way, just copy and paste parts. Actually, let's re-pitch all this too real quick. Highlight everything. Right here in my different sampling modes, I'm going to put in re-pitch, which is your typical sample mode where basically if you slow it down, the pitch goes down, speed it up, pitch goes up, so on and so forth. Now this is how I chopped it up for the verse. As you see, there's not a whole bunch of chopping going on actually. If you find a really good sample and it just sounds nice, definitely don't need to chop it. Now, as you see here, we don't have a full nine bar phrase. What I actually did in the track, which is um actually very useful when you're listening to your samples make sure you listen to the phrasing and the cadences that makes a big difference because what I ended up doing on the track was taking this section here and using it for the end of the phrase So if you see there, you get a whole phrase, and it ends on a cadence, and it comes back to the beginning again. So now I can actually just slow it down. So that's a simple little chop there in Ableton Live, and as you see, really quick and easy to throw together a sample and actually get it in tempo without dealing with a whole bunch. And now, let me find the actual track, play you a little bit of the hook and whatnot. I think my brother's practicing his trumpet. I don't even know if we can hear it or not. <laughs> Here we go. So yeah, that's a quick idea of something you can kind of do in Ableton, just recreating a beat I did and whatnot. So, um, 
definitely subscribe to my page. I'm going to be doing more. Um, ask me any questions you want. If there's something specific you want me to show you, I can do that too. Um, even if there's an actual beat that someone else has made, like Kanye or Ninth Wonder or something, and you want me to try and recreate the chop sample they did, you know, let me know and I'll try and, you know, challenge me. Alright, though. Peace.